Hello there Carpologists, I'm Joe and today we're going to be taking a look at the Air Bomb by TF Gear. Now I was lucky enough to get my hands on this and see it demoed before it went out to the public and I've got to say my initial response to it was I can't see any faults with it. It does everything you want it to to get your bait out there without the drawbacks of splashing or disturbing your swim. So basics how it works is you attach this leader to your main line, you attach a metal loop, that then hooks onto this little metal uh, pin or hook on the air bomb that takes the cast that then comes off mid-air and when you hit your clip so if you've clipped up to your desired spot it pulls on this and pops open mid-air so then once that opens it sprays your bait out makes it land as if you were sort of loose feeding by hand by a, a boat or if you're around on a farm margin by a snag or something you're chucking your bait in it's going to be deploying the bait in the same way as you would hand fed only you're doing it from your swim Another great positive of that is that because it opens in the air, the air bomb springs back and lands 20 yards back from your spot and delicately lands on the water and not making any disturbance. And your brake just sprays on the surface and drops down again like it would loose feed. So pellet, boilies, hemp, all sorts of different things that you normally spot out and might make a lot of disturbance. This does it a lot, lot quieter. So let's give it a try, see what we think. So as I just said, the air bomb comes with a leader with a large metal loop tied on at one end. Now this is what hooks onto the air bomb at the other end, but it's really simple, tied directly to your main line. So here we are at the other end, and as you can see, there's two luminous buffer beads, so that's basically to stop the air bomb once it hits the clip, and that's what's gonna give it resistance to open up the air bomb. Now, if you slide the leader through that swivel, you bring the metal loop, which is tied onto your main line down. That latches straight onto this metal hook here, that takes the brunt of the cast. You can whack it out really hard, it's not gonna open. But in, in flight, that loop comes off, slides down and obviously it hits the buffer beads. When it hits the clip, pops open the compartment, bait comes out and that's already an open, light air bomb that you can retrieve nice and easy. And to fill it up, it's really easy as well. Bit of tension to pop it open like so. And I'm just gonna scoop in some pellet. And then a bit of tension again, and it shuts it up. That's ready to go out. So I've now got the air bomb filled up with pellet. And like I said before, you just gotta slide it up to the metal o-ring that clips onto there and that takes the brunt of the cast. I've already clipped up to the far margin so this should open in the air and disperse some pellet perfectly along the margin without disturbing the swim. So uh, let's whack it out and see if it works. There we go, nicely spread just along the margin, landed back about 20 foot. Let's try again with some boilies. Now another added advantage of having it hit the clip and open is that if you don't hit the clip, it won't open. So if it hits the water not where you wanted it to open, it won't dump any bait, which is a real benefit because you don't want to be baiting up other areas that you're not fishing for obvious reasons. So I'm going to show that as an example. I'm going to cast this out and deliberately not hit the clip and I'll wind it back in. So didn't hit any clip. As you can see, it hasn't opened up. Obviously I've got to bring it back gently because any jolt would open it up. There you go, wound all the way back in and it didn't open up. You can also use this to your advantage. I'll give you an example. If you're fishing a really tight hole in the weed or something and you don't want to spook the fish, you can cast well beyond your area. Don't hit any clips and it'll just land on the water. You then retrieve it back, twitch it, and it'll open right on your spot. So I'll give you an example of that now as well. So again, just going to whack it out. Not hit any clips, so splashed on the bottom. Start to wind it back. to say, say I've wound it back 20 yards onto where I'm fishing, and you just give a little twitch of that, and it's now deployed. And it comes in, fully opened up. So there you go, the TF Gear Air Bomb. Now I've been practicing with this for the last sort of half an hour or so, and I've got to say it's really satisfying when it hits the clip and sprinkles your bait just really delicately over where you'd be fishing. I'm gonna have to stop now, because this is a day ticket venue, and the swims I've been using are now filling up. So, if you are interested in this, please do visit the TF Gear website. You can pick them up for $13.99. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.